evidently, clearly, as you can see by the video, this is legitimate or not. You know, the elite psychos in control love to take advantage of the naive masses. You know, the average person is so trusting. Oh, why would they lie to me? Why would they lie to me? Because <laughs> they want everything, especially your money. And there have been quite a few events over the past few months, the more popular ones actually, that have little to no video or photos, no proof. Imagine your friend comes up to you and says, uh, hey, I just won a million dollars at the lottery, or oh, I just bought a new Bugatti. Okay, where's the lotto ticket? Where's the Bugatti? Oh, well, I don't have it. The problem is most people don't question anything. They just take the news as what's in front of them. And I'm not going to mention the events, but it's 2022, you know? Everyone has a camera on their phones. The security footage was also offline. And these stories plastered all over the news have no photos, have no videos. There's very little to zero evidence. That being said, you know, there's still no confirming that this video is the complete truth. And that's the pattern of these news stories. The people in control of the media put as little evidence, as little details as possible. You know, reduce the margin of error. They don't share specifically where it was, the name of the farm. The farmer doesn't make a video about what happened. It's very mysterious and it lacks credibility. So why would they be announcing this? You know, in the past for my businesses, when anything happened, anything bad, I would film it, I would document it, I'd be freaking out. Thousands of cattle reported dead. Heat stress kills estimated 10,000 head of Kansas feedlot cattle. DTN calls to feedlots in the area and to ranchers whose branded animals were seen in some privately shared photos of dead cattle were not immediately returned. What is known is that leading up to these heartbreaking losses, temperatures in the area were over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. There was humidity and there was little to no wind to help cool the animals. Large losses in feedlots due to heat stress seem to start every year around June. And veterinarian A.G. Tarpoff, who works with Kansas State University Extension, he explained that when there is a perfect storm of too much heat and no opportunity for nighttime cooling, cattle can accumulate heat and die from the stress. It's a situation, he added, and can hit both feedlot and grazing animals. So they wildly plaster an issue all over mainstream media, then send in the government goon expert to justify what happened. Oh, I'm a veterinarian. This is clearly what happened here. Nothing, nothing abnormal. This is very typical. In this case, it's a veterinarian, a government accredited whatever. You have to go to veterinary school. I don't know. Veterinarian school. Now, did this really happen? Is a rancher who owns millions of dollars worth of cattle stupid enough to let them overheat? I don't believe it for a second. These people in charge love playing dumb, <laughs> portraying themselves as an idiot, when in reality, the masses are brainwashed enough to believe their lies and deceit. They make you feel smart, so then they get what they want because, oh, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm so smart, the government's so stupid, I could do a better job than them. But you're still believing what they're telling you, yet they're the idiots, right? Or are you the idiot? Cattle futures are down a bit. You know, we can speculate with the stock market crashing that red meat sales are down. People don't want to spend money on food. Is it possible that this news story is not legitimate? I don't know. Do they want to pump up meat sales? Oh, we're going to run out of red meat, so you better buy some. They've done that many, many times before. Is it an insurance collection on the farmer's end? I mean, it's only a few million dollars. Would they really plaster all the mainstream media for a few million dollars? Probably they might. I don't know. You know, the USDA compensates 75% of the market value of the cattle. And that's not a bad idea if the market's down and you can't sell your beef. And it got me thinking, looking at that video, the way all the cows are like, they're just, you know, their legs are out all the same way. If they died of heat stress, that doesn't seem right. You know, I've, I've slaughtered cattle before, so, you know, when, when you hit them in the head and their nerves go dead, you know, they, they 
they spaz out to a certain way. I'm assuming someone who's an expert on nervous system or, or a farmer or a rancher would know what a cattle is supposed to look like when they die of heat issues. And that video may or may not be indicative of that, but again, I don't have enough experience to know that. Did high heat and humidity really cause cattle deaths in Kansas? The latest look at potential losses. An unconfirmed video of dead black-hided cattle made its rounds on social media this week. While there's no way of knowing just how many cattle have died from the heat this week, routers quoted the Kansas Department of Health and Environment saying at least 2,000 head of cattle had been lost. One drovers said that it's very possible 5,000 cattle may have succumbed to the heat, but the talk of 10,000 head is likely an exaggeration of reality. With Herd calling is already taking place due to the drought this year. Mark Gold of Stone X Group says it will have an impact on the supply of cattle in the U.S. The rumors are that we are losing 100 to 500 head per feedlot out here, says Gold. That's a lot of cattle. Again, the, these clowns are playing stupid. You know, if you own these cattle and they're worth $1,000, $2,000 per head, you're going to know exactly how many cattle died how many cattle you have you know the exact number not oh 2,000 5,000 10,000 I don't know it was 9,726 cattle. they would know the exact number of cattle there's no guessing there's no estimating how many cattle were lost they would have the exact statistic excellent example of them playing stupid oh we're not sure we can't count from one to a thousand we're dumb it's these people deserve to be uh, you know they've done this before farmers have had to cull animals especially chickens they're burying vegetables underground for various reasons whether there's no market demand or the product is bad then they take those images those pictures from whatever event plaster them all over social media for more fear-mongering predictive programming oh no i'm gonna starve to death who fucking cares who wants and this can go in several directions the continued war on meat from the environment nonsense is a big one. Oh, look how horrible the cattle are being treated the poor cattle died out in the sun no they probably got a bullet in their head if i had to guess climate change is causing the heat waves Better drive an electric car and drink your Soylent Green. Maybe your thyroid will dysfunction enough so that your temperature is low enough so that your boyfriend can play with you all night. Anyway. I'm a little... I'm a little uh, out of line for this video, guys. I'm a little on edge. I haven't had a good week, but uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Hopefully this gives you a new and enlightened perspective on the current news and events going on in the world. Uh, so if you guys would like to support me, you can check out frank to see all of my businesses. Outside of that, please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe me next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. I'm getting to the point where I'm, I'm, I'm actually losing it, guys. I'm actually losing it, so don't be surprised if I'm in like a jail cell in Colombia by the end of the month.